Every project in WorkMajig has a variety of components to it. Depending on what your user rights are, you'll have access to the components that are going to pertain to you. Right now we're going to look at a schedule. So in this project, if I open up the schedule, we're going to see that my schedule comes in with a template that has not only my process predetermined, it also has my level of effort. So what types of roles or services do I need to facilitate these tasks along the way? And approximately how much time of them do I need? And don't forget your timeline. So how much time duration-wise do we need to facilitate these tasks along the way? When this comes in with a template, it gives me the ability then to make adjustments that might be unique to the project at hand. I can certainly adjust what types of needs I have resource-wise, and it's very easy, of course, to adjust durations. If I make durational changes to my projects, the rest of my schedule is going to naturally adjust because I have workflow dependencies established so I can see what the ramifications of any change I make are right away. Another thing to mention about Workamajig's schedule is it really tries to follow a more typical work life. In that I mean, weekends are naturally skipped for planning purposes. And if you put your company holidays in the system, in the company calendar, all of those days will be non-working days when it comes to project planning and naturally skipped. Using the tools in Workamajig, making sure that our holidays are on our company calendar, will ensure that our projects will follow our more natural workflow. Obviously, sometimes we need to work on a weekend or a holiday, but nine times out of 10, you didn't plan to. So having Workamajig set up to follow that default will ensure that we won't accidentally plan for work to happen on days we're not planning on working.